to buy phenyl the name suggests two phenyl rings attached like this of course right consists of two phenyl uh, rings attached via sigma bond yeah cool simple now what here ha huh? look at this what do we have two hydrogens here and here this looks perfect to us the, here there is no such possibility of uh, cis and trans if i may say right but let's now see it further if there is steric hindrance due to groups at ortho position then to minimize repulsion the rings become mutually perpendicular to each other see everybody wants stability like you've understood if you're traveling by delhi metro or you're traveling by a mumbai local what you would do is if you're carrying a load of luggage for your you know in your hands and there are people around you which is making you feel that okay there is a lot of crowd here and this is making my standing position as a very unstable position so you will certainly dislocate yourself you would try to locate a certain position where you feel that okay standing here will bring in stability how are the chemical compounds you know not left un disturbed the same kind of com the same kind of scenario is applicable when i talk about these uh, biphenyl systems also imagine the two phenyl rings are here right here now instead of hydrogen imagine a methyl group attached again here instead of hydrogen imagine a methyl group attached here instead of this hydrogen imagine an ethyl group attached here instead of this hydrogen imagine an ethyl group attached and don't think of methyl group as me here not me don't think of it as a simple ch3 don't think of it as a ch3 like this either imagine the electron cloud you need to imagine you need to visualize visualization should be on here and imagine the electron cloud here imagine the electron cloud here and once you imagine it you would certainly visualize that yes there is a possibility of a lot of hindrance you are carrying a load with yourself luggage with yourself and there comes another person with a huge luggage in his own hands both of you are carrying huge luggage going to the airport via metro of course you would try to you know shift a bit find out a place for yourself where you can at least breathe easily and the luggage is not going to cause you instability so if there is a possibility you will certainly dislocate so is out here here also imagine the two rings being in the same plane and then if there is some kind of repulsion coming in they will certainly go out of the plane not in the same plane as this phenyl ring here this phenyl ring would rather decide to be in a different plane so that the repulsions can be minimized so is here if there is a steric hindrance due to groups at the ortho position then to minimize repulsion the rings become mutually perpendicular to each other check it out so what do we have methyl ethyl methyl ethyl there is a sigma bond these phenyl rings are perpendicular to each other needless to say can you understand here if this is in the plane of the paper we have a slide here so let me say plane of the slide this is let's see as a different plane altogether this particular side is coming towards you and this dashed side is coming towards me so out of the plane inside the plane and this phenyl ring is in the plane of the screen that you're watching this particular benzene in are you able to imagine the three directions huh the three dimensions are important many dimensions are important though but yes let's take it further this hinders the free rotation between the rings in the biphenyl system since the terminal groups are in the perpendicular planes the biphenyl system does not show geometrical isomerism this is the moral of the story how will you comment okay these groups are on the same side these groups are on the opposite side they need to be in the same plane for us to comment that they are on the same side or the opposite sides right of course 
opposite side, same side, if they are in the different planes, how are we going to comment? So, please get the point right when we are talking about a biphenyl system with their ortho positions substituted the with their ortho position substituted there it comes because of the repulsions because of the steric hindrance because of the steric crowding because of these kind of electronic repulsions that you can imagine what happens is the other phenyl decides to be in a different plane as this particular benzene right if i make this in the plane in the same plane of the paper this particular benzene let's say takes a different plane altogether so as to minimize the repulsion and if the two are not in the same plane we cannot comment anything on this particular thing whether they are on the same side or opposite so of course there will be no geometrical isomerism geometrical isomerism in the biphenyl system right look at the two nitro look at the two bromo and see what's happening here they are in the different planes if you can observe isn't it see the nitro with its electron cloud see the methyl with its electron cloud and if you actually take a microscopic uh, if you take this microscopic compound and see it macroscopically this is how it is going to look like the different planes are there and the moment you see that, okay, different planes, we can't comment on cis and trans. So GI, that's right, doesn't exist here. 